Okay, so this is the last RSD video for the third um, Record Store Day drop, um, the October 24th one. Um, so, again, um, as you watched the last video, for this one I did not order online because that was a disaster. Um, I was actually in Houston visiting a friend, so I went to some Houston record stores, and surprisingly, so for the third release, there wasn't a line, it wasn't even busy for the store I went to. Um, I think it was because the October 24th release was more um, uh, movie soundtracks. Um, there wasn't like a bunch of big name artists or anything like that. So I um, I did get some and of course they were only movies. I did leave one out. I haven't bought it yet. Phenomenon, the movie with um, John Travolta. That's what it's called, right? Um, where he like, I don't know how it happens to him. All of a sudden though he's like really smart um and he can like he it, it went into like he was trying to tell them that he could hear um the size or he found some sort of way to like record earthquakes or something like that he was trying to tell like the government like an earthquake's coming or whatever and they were more concerned of how he predicted it and he was like i'm not predicting and i don't know look at the movie i don't even know the right name but that's the only one i'm missing so anyway so what i did get which is a really funny release <clears throat> is austin powers which Funny story with Austin Powers, um, when I was younger, like, I thought that Austin Powers was, like, the real James Bond. Like, I didn't know about James Bond, like, because, you know, Austin Powers is just a parody. So I was like, this is James Bond, but he's so funny. I was, I mean, I'm still not that bright. But anyway, so I have all three of them. Um, let me put them in order. I think Gold Member is the third one. Is this one, which one is this one? I can't read upside down. This is the second one. And this is the first one. So this is the right order. So this one, this one, this one. Um, and so to go over the releases. So this one was a release of 1,500, 3,000, and 3,000. I don't know why the first one they would limit it. And then I do have the Virgin Suicides. We'll go over this one after I open all of the... Um, so this one was a high release, like 7,500. I feel like that's a lot. Um, but we'll go back to that one in a second. So, do it in order. But this this show or this movie is so old. Like, that is, that's just wild. It was, like, definitely a throwback. And I can't remember if these are colored or not. I think, let's see. They are. So this one is a 2LP. It's not a gatefold. They, of course, shoved two records and just this tiny little thing. I think they're the same. Nope, okay, so we have to match. I'm gonna move these out of the way. So it looks like it matches the cover. It's pink and orange. I'm in pretty bright. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a really pretty pink. Like, I don't think the <laughs> my brother's in the background nodding he's he likes pink anyway yeah it's a really bright you'll see it better in the pictures i think you can kind of see it on the recording but the light doesn't do it full justice but um it's been a while since i watched this movie so i'm gonna be real honest there's not a lot of songs i remember i just remember it being incredibly ridiculous and for the longest time i don't know if you know this but um he plays the good guy and the bad guy like, my brother didn't know that, and when I told him, he's already forgotten about it, but I told him, he's like, no, that's not true, but it is true. Like, what is his name, Steven, Steven Myers? He plays both the, the good guy and the bad guy, which is the funniest part of it. So, let me go ahead. So that was the first one, which is, uh, let's see, International Man of Mystery. So that's just, yeah, sounds like an intro name to it. We'll go to the second one. And I can't remember if it was this one or the second one, but it does have a cameo, I think, of Britney Spears, I'm pretty sure. And then, of course, the third one, kind of hilariously, Beyonce's in it. Like, that's just kind of funny. But there's, okay, it's all coming back to me now, but, like, there's so many ridiculous scenes in this, in this movie. Like, I just, I just can't. Did you look it up? Yeah, my brother looked it up. He confirmed it that he played both characters. Okay, so that's the first one. 
to the second one, which is the spine. Who shagged me? Where's my knife? And again, I don't remember. Of course, this was first time. Oh, this one's transparent tan vinyl. So there's the front. Get the back, which my bad, I'll show you the back of this one. This one just has some scenes. We're gonna have to do like 18 rating. Anyway. And it says this one has a Beautiful Stranger by Madonna, which I'm gonna be the last time I'll listen to Madonna. She's before my time, okay? I'm young but old all at the same time. And struggling. Okay, so this one actually, oop, okay, this one has an insert, which is cool. It's exciting. Actually, I have two inserts, so it's just a lot of credits information on there. You can see the front, flip over, got the back. Oh, and then it just has an ad slip of whatever. Okay. Okay, so this is an interesting, it's not really, like I guess it is tan. I don't know. You can vote. It's tan, more translucent kind of. It's like dirty water colored, pretty much. So I feel like maybe they were a little lazy on this one. Um, but yeah. Just the two of us, it's Dr. Evil Mix. That's hilarious, I'm gonna have to listen to that one. I'm gonna have to watch the movies again. Probably alone, I don't feel like my brother would be down for that. No, yeah, he said no. So there's the second one. Oh man, okay, I'm just gonna put that together. And the last one with Beyonce, Gold Member. I never, I don't know why I never put it together, maybe because I was probably like, what, like 10 or something? Like gold member, that's that's inappropriate. Anyway, so there's the front and there's the back. And this one of course says first time on vinyl. In the upper corner. Bam. Doesn't tell me what color. I'm gonna say it's gold, right? Because that's safe to assume. And again, I'm struggling to open. I have to be careful. I'm not using my regular knife, and this one is way sharper, so I could get injured. Okay. Okay, so this one comes with just an insert. I think it's special thanks with just some, you know, pictures, credits. I can't believe Beyonce was in this movie. I'll never get over that. Okay, and let's see. What color? Was I right? Yes, I was. You know why? Because I'm a genius. So it's gold, but not really. It's like fake gold. Like this is their gold, which is just brown, really. Like a tan. Maybe in the light you can see gold. Not really. Um, so it does have Beyonce's song on there. See, there is Britney Spears featuring Ferris William. I had no idea he was on there. With Wind Fire. So it's a bunch of, I guess you could say oldies. Maybe not. Smash Mouth. Dr. Evil. I remember that one. It's it's the hard not life where they're in the jail or whatever. I remember that scene. It's iconic. So I'll put those back. But that is my Awesome Powers collection. Which is kind of funny. And when I purchased it though, I asked the guy like what vinyls were selling the most that day and he said surprisingly Austin Powers is what people went in for, which is really funny. Like there's just some of those vinyls where you're like, yeah, why not have them in the collection? So I'll put this one up and then now we just have one left. The suicide, Virgin Suicide. Now, I sadly haven't seen this movie. It has Kirsten Dunst in it. I've seen the trailer for it a few times. I should watch it, but I haven't. It's on my list of like, I feel like important movies to watch, like just in pop culture. So let's take a look. It says exclusive record store day. So I guess it's not even like just, I guess those are like releases that'll be released in the future maybe for the Austin Powers. 
because it has a different hive sticker for this one. So it says it's supposed to be, oh, okay. Yeah, it's pink splatter. I think the reason why it has a record store exclusive because it says it's the 12th anniversary release. All I really know about the movie is like a bunch of girls got together and hung out. I don't know. Like it's like a, I don't know if it's a murder mystery. I know it's like a horror. So the inside is pink. And I think it's, yeah. Wow, it kind of looks like a, like a strawberry milkshake is the vibes I'm getting. And it's, uh, let's see. I can't tell, it looks like music from the motion picture. It's like actual song music, not like an orchestral like background music. But you can see like here's the cover and there's the vinyl. They go together pretty well, I think. But yeah, it looks like a milkshake. Very nice and pink. But that concludes my October 24th record store day haul, if you want to call it that. Um, only movie soundtracks, not like a singer or anything like that. So I've got all the Austin Powers. But um, tell me what you purchased for your record store day, you know, the art. RSD, RSD drop number three. If you've even like done record store day, like, cause it's, it's weird because you know, record store day, the record stores, you know, the ones I went to, they had like a band playing, they had food, like it was like a party. And now it's just, it's so different that, you know, some people, you don't even want to participate. So tell me how you're feeling about it. Um, if you watched either of these movies, um, and if you think Austin Powers is ridiculous, because it kind of is, but at the same time, it's really funny. So, but yep. Yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time.